Claire, you thought you were going to lose her, didn't you? Yes, I mean, um, we had no idea of anything about sepsis at all. Um, we had an appointment at Watford General Hospital uh, with the NHS doctor, 111, and uh, I took her there in the car. Yeah. Um, and uh, there she was in her pyjamas with a bucket and her coat. And uh, we went in and uh, she put the clip on her finger to check, I think it's oxygen. Yeah. And she stopped talking then she said, and she took her straight round to A&E. Wow, so they knew, they knew right away? Yeah, that 16 strong. people round her bed. Thank goodness you were okay. You did lose both your legs. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how, you, you are absolutely remarkable. They said in the hospital, they just call you speedy because yeah. you were so quick to get on the crutches. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. The, that, that's incredible. Do you remember much about that? Do you remember much about what happened before and then during the hospital? I do remember a lot of it. I remember like getting in the car to go to hospital and I remember all, yeah. oh, I remember sitting in the bed. I remember most of it. Jeez, and when you're told that, <coughs> you know, you, that you'd lost your legs, how, I don't know how you get your head around that, but somehow you just, you just did and you just kept going? I was very upset, but I just kept on telling myself there's no turning back, so right. I guess I just had to go along with it. She never saw them black. She never saw them right. before. Sure. Yeah. But it's a whole new life, you know, it's a whole new world. I must admit, when I came in this morning looking for you, I didn't realise it was you because these look really good. Yeah. And the way that you walk is, is quite remarkable too. They called her Super Wiz at Super Stanmore. Wiz. Yes, at Stanmore, because she, her balance is so good. Because that's the yeah. thing, I think sometimes we don't realise that. You've got to get all of your, your centre of gravity is different, you're, you're balancing and all of that. But you've had lots of help. Yeah, yeah. by Stanmore, they've been amazing. That's good. <clears throat> And got the blades as well. I got the blades as well. And oh, you've got blades? Because that helps right. me do a lot of sport, because in the, my legs I have now, right. I can't run in them. Ah. <clears throat> you're still you're running in the blades? Yeah. You're running in those? Well, you're I don't have them at the moment because right. they're being remade. Ah, OK. You're Cause... wearing them out? <laughs> no, it's, it's the, the wastage of the oh, muscles. Of course, so of she course. has to be you recast. All the time, all the time. Yeah. You have to keep yeah. doing that yeah. all the time. And as you grow as well, yeah. of course, that's, yeah. that's a consideration. Yeah. You met Prince Harry? That was amazing. Was he, was he, was he very... He always seems very charming. What did he, he talk about? Um, we spoke about um, what sports I do and... What a hospital was like. Right. Oh, it's great. It's great yeah. to be able to share that experience. Now, the whole Coronation Street storyline is really going to help raise awareness. And I know that you went to visit them on set. Yeah, it was really good. Like, yeah. it, um, we just walked around the whole set, and I just, I was shocked because I didn't think a set was like that. Because it was all like, it, like the patio bit. You have to like, if one bit of the pavement isn't right, you have to lift up the whole pavement, <laughs> and like, you make moss out of yogurt. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's just... I didn't know that. This is a great thing. <laughs> Thank you. This is Lichard. revelations. Lichard. The Lichard on the... Yeah. On the, yeah. So they put yogurt on it. Bit of yogurt and it'll... Yeah. I didn't know that at all. <laughs> it's, I think it's a, it's a brilliant thing to do. I mean, it really is, Ron. And, and it's going to raise awareness, of course, because a lot of people don't know the symptoms of sepsis. We are trying to get the message across, but this will really help. Absolutely, and it's so important. This is something that affects a quarter of a million Britons every That's year. A lot, isn't it? It's as common as heart attacks. Mm -hmm. And... As Sasha's learned, spotting it early, getting the help early, can literally make a difference between life yeah. and death. So this story with, with Jack Webster is going to be responsible for saving hundreds of lives. Yes, Because I think sometimes as well, if you don't know the symptoms, parents can sometimes feel a bit guilty that they didn't yeah. notice it beforehand, even though you shouldn't. The timing, but that, that can yeah. happen sometimes too, can't it? Of course, and as Dr Ali Neeson said in the clip you showed, sepsis can be difficult to spot in the early stages. So as a parent, it's important that we just trust our instincts. We know what having a child with an infection looks like, but if something doesn't, doesn't feel quite right, then we need to get on the phone, phone 111, or make an appointment to see the GP and ask, sure. could it be sepsis? And in your experience, are we getting better? At this, as, you know, I mean, obviously the Coronation Street storyline is going to help massively, but do you think we are the message is getting across? We are improving. We know from polls that we've done that the public are more aware of sepsis. Of course, we we have to understand that this is a condition that affects adults as well as children. It can sure. affect tiny babies. It can affect people in their nineties. So this is a whole population needs to be aware of sepsis right. as something that we need to have in the back of our mind if someone has an infection. Mm and something's triggering an alarm bell. Yeah, so it just makes sense to have it, to have it there. And for you, Sasha, I think you, you, whatever you put your mind to do, you, you, you'll achieve. What is the dream? What would you love to do? Um, <clears throat> I'd love to, like, um, try and do all animals. the sports I can, and I want to work with animals. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I still do loads of sports and get into athletics, hopefully, but 
I want to work with more than animals, than sports, I guess. Oh, that's I want to do both, yeah. really. Do you know what? I think you'll do whatever you set out to do. I really do. It's absolutely brilliant to meet you. And thank you very much indeed for, and indeed for all of your help with the Coronation Street story links. It's important. Got to get this right. Yeah. Got to get it right. And they always do. They always do it so well. Thank you. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very thank much you. indeed.